hundred years ago, there was a book that turned the Choson Kingdom upside down. The book Soyu Gyammun, called Observations on Travels in the West, was written by Yu Gil Chun, the first man from Choson to study abroad in the US. What about today, a hundred years after Yu wrote his book? Over the past century, Korea has embraced Western civilization and experienced rapid industrialization. Today, Korea is more relevant in the world than it ever was in the past. This is our attempt to create our own version of observations on travels in the West. One of the best ways to enjoy Paris is to appreciate the classical and stately buildings around the city. Another way is to visit the city's gardens. The Jardin d'Acclimatation opened in 1860 by Napoleon III and has been a beloved Parisian park for more than 150 years. About a decade ago, the park welcomed a new garden called Parc de Seoul. French gardens are characterized by artificial beauty and order, but Korean gardens leave nature as it is and adapt to nature. The Seoul Garden is a true haven of peace in the middle of the city, in the middle of the crowd, in the middle of the Jardin d'Acclimatation. It is a blend of spirituality, of Zen, as you say sometimes, of beauty and of refinement. I'm very proud to know that all the current gardens around the world, the Soul Garden is probably one of the best maintained. Tourists who visit Korea look for Korean palaces first, as they are the essence of Korean architecture and UNESCO-designated palace gardens display great harmony with nature. Seoul Garden very much resembles palaces in Seoul. One family comes here at least twice a month. They say the multicolored paintwork of the gazebo fascinates them. Chugudong <laughs> means the bamboo leaves move like raindrops. Even the names of garden structures reveal the environmentally friendly philosophy of Korean gardens. Bah, déjà, le, déjà, on a, on a une petite muraille euh, autour de nous là, qui euh, c'est à la fois une clôture, mais c'est c'est aussi euh, Encore une fois, une invitation à se, à se recueillir un petit peu à l'intérieur de, 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 de ces murs. Bon, puis il y a des végétations, il y a des, des, des petites statues, des statuettes. C'est un environnement, une ambiance différente de ce qu'on connaît dans le jardin français. Ah, je ne connais pas la Corée, non. Je n'ai pas cet honneur de connaître la Corée. Korean architectural elements are also being introduced to the daily lives of Parisians. Ben Pakrata installed Ondol, Korean heated floors, in his apartment 10 years ago. With Ondol, warm water heats the floors to keep the apartment toasty. Au niveau champagne, la chaleur étouffante, c'est une chaleur qui était vraiment elle est généralisée sur tout sur tout l'étage. Ça m'arrive sous très souvent ici de m'endormir parce que c'est une chaleur ambiante et très 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 belle pour pour s'endormir et on se sent très très bien le lendemain quand on se réveille. The temperature of each room can be controlled separately, making it convenient and economical. 
s'est fait effectivement en consommation et aussi au niveau d'encombrement. Parce que euh, le chuchon, comme vous voyez, il n'y a pas de, de radiateur, il n'y a rien du tout. Tout est, tout est encastré, on ne voit rien du tout et ça prend moins de place et ça chauffe très très bien. Et au niveau économique aussi, on gagne beaucoup. Demand for Korea's on-door system is growing in France. À la fabrication, mais à, à, la, à la consommation, il est plus économique. Donc, qui s'amortit avec du temps. Voilà. Donc, je recommande aux clients qui ont les moyens de réaliser un plancher chauffant de le faire pour gagner avec du temps. Voilà. Korean architectural elements can also be found in Boston. Harvard University comes to mind when people think of Boston. Harvard's campus is often described as picturesque and it's easy to tell why that's the case. This student resident upholds traditional elements, embraces its natural environment and showcases innovative design. It was the most contemporary, the lightest, the most open, um, and I think it was the best um, neighbor to the rest of the environment around here. Uh, Peabody Terrace, the power plant, uh, the neighborhood, and the park. So I think it, it solved, he solved the puzzle, the design challenge, uh, most effectively. Vaulted ceilings maximize the amount of sunlight coming inside, and the common area has a nice view. The man who designed this is Korean architect Woo Kyu Sung. The university is a place that, especially dormitory life, uh, they call now housing, not dormitory, but university housing, they can, they can interact, both intellectually and socially, they can get to know each other, which is important, and architecture can help to happen those things. How do students like living here? Lindsay Murray says spending time in her room with a view of the Charles River helps her calm down amid her busy academic schedule. I feel like the best part of this building is that it really uh, incorporates the river and incorporates the feeling of like being outside. So it's nice to have this area that's for everyone, that brings in Harvard, brings in the river, and it's just really beautiful. In 2011, this residence was awarded the Halston Parker Medal for being the most beautiful building in Boston. I actually saw it. We were, we were sort of astonished by its, its scale and proportion and, and beauty. Um, so in that regard, compared to the other buildings that we've seen, the building is very uh, successful in many, many scales. Brandeis University's campus showcases more innovative buildings. Here you can find another building designed by Ugyu Sung. The structure and details are reminiscent of Korean gardens. Both the building's exterior and interior have elements of nature. The focus here is on the soft, natural light. This is typical window for the private rooms. Uh, this is single bedroom. And uh, this, this side is actually its opera window, which opens. And this side is a clear a big glass so that one can see the landscape and the campus overall. Uh, the quality of light to me is important that this side has more soft quality, which is, one could say, similar to Hanji. But in any case, this cold climate, it's good to have a clear view as well as the coziness of uh, this enclosure. Wu also tried to design a residence that would encourage interactions between the students. The main intention of them, uh, the one of the focus of this building was how to create more social interaction among the students. And this is architecturally how we dissolved it. Wu studied urban design at Harvard and has been working as an architect in Korea and the US for decades. 
He thinks architecture should embrace the user's niche while meeting multiple regulations. Every project is a new challenge for him. These days, Wu is trying to recreate the natural environment of the surface in an underground space. One, how to enhance, retain and enhance the memory of the memorial itself. Second thing is that uh, I felt from the beginning on, a uh, city like Gwangju really needs the open space, green space, park space. Actually, it has more, it's mostly natural ventilation and natural light, which is far greater daylight than, as you see, many of the contemporary office buildings. Wu says a building doesn't necessarily have to go upward. His creative ideas have turned Wu into an international architect. He works in basically two cultures, the U.S. culture and also the Korean culture, as well as other places across the world. And I don't actually think of him necessarily as an Asian architect, but more as an international architect that works with all different clients and tries to meet all their needs. Wu occasionally heads to Vermont for a break. This is uh, the, the edge of the Putney Mountain, sort of hilltop. And uh, this is access road, access road to the, uh, the country house. Wu designed this house on a slope of Putney Mountain for his family. The house is well known among other architects. The exterior looks like a typical Vermont barn, but closer examination reveals elements of traditional Korean architecture. Wu's main philosophy is to adapt the house to fit in with its natural surroundings rather than adapt nature to fit the house. Obviously, the uh, floor heating is the most comfortable way of heating th th this space. We don't need the cooling here because of ventilation and uh, the wind, but heating we want to have it more comfortable and uh, we have floor heating throughout the whole space. Wu thinks the role of architecture is to help humans have new experiences in nature. This house reflects that philosophy. The building is a kind of agent to maximize the experience of nature. That's the way I approached it and that's the way the building is built. So it is not for a piece of architecture, but it's the, to complement the nature which is existing here. That being the climatic experience, that being uh, the view, that being the change of weather. As an architect who enjoys the process of creating innovative buildings, how does U see himself? I think I'm rather not thinking about myself as an architect who uh, trying to uh, um, who has a mission as an architect. So I like to uh, implement a mission here and there. That's not the way I approach it. It's me. Uh, there can be different architects, but it's me. I'm approaching each project very uniquely, and that's excitement. And for the future, will be the same. Architecture gives identity to an otherwise empty space. Korean architecture is very competitive in this regard. What was once a sleepy town in the Persian Gulf has been transformed into the New York City of the Middle East. Dubai's most prominent tourist attractions aren't hard to miss. The most awesome thing of Dubai is, is well, the buildings. It's amazing to stay here, seeing the tallest building in the world, and also because it's all around the skyscrapers. Dubai looks like a futuristic architectural experiment in the middle of the desert. As Dubai's most famous landmark, the Burj Khalifa spans 828 meters. For now, it holds the record as the world's tallest building. The Burj Khalifa and many of Dubai's buildings are the work of Korean construction companies. 
all the opportunities to um, produce or to construct those fantastic buildings here. Yeah, meanwhile, they grow a lot in view of uh, technical knowledge and uh, know-how to do that. That's, I know that. I'm convinced they are doing, meanwhile, fantastic jobs in this matter. The Burj Khalifa reflects Korea's architectural technology. Simplicity, function, those are the key words of the modern architecture movement which started in Germany. Stuttgart, Germany has a lot of architectural pride because the legacy of the Bauhaus movement is clearly evidenced in the city's Weisenhof estate, which was a showcase of modern architecture. Today, this German city is creating a buzz in architectural circles again. The center of attention is the cube-shaped Stuttgart Municipal Library. Korean architect Lee Eun-young designed this library, where the first floor serves as the core of the building. Although this is the heart of the library, there are no books here, just some natural light and silence. Man ist überwältigt, wenn man hier reinkommt, aber ähm, der Raum strahlt auch Ruhe aus. Also wenn man reinkommt, wird man eigentlich ruhig und der kleine Brunnen, ähm, ja, der passt eigentlich perfekt in das Bild rein, sage ich mal. Ja. Out of the library's nine floors, E used four of them into the center and the heart of the library. The multi-layered interior of the library and the user of natural light are a hit among library users. Also ich finde diese Offenheit, diese Transparenz, diese, dieses Weiß, dieses Reine, das gefällt mir wirklich außerordentlich. Also am besten gefällt mir einfach ähm, dieses Helle, ja. also dass, dass alle Räume gleich hell sind, dass ja. es Tageslicht ist, dass es einfach offen ist und das finde ich wirklich sehr, sehr The interior is all white and the only color you see is that of the books and the people. Basic idea of linking tradition uh, and innovation, tradition and future, which I understand is part of the architectural philosophy of Mr. E, really corresponds to our library philosophy. We think the library is a place of tradition. You see lots of books here, but a place which is open for the future and for every new development. had a strong interest in architecture that transcends culture and time since he was a student in Aachen. And this is where he had an epiphany. 
이게 약수터인데 이게 유황 약수터라서 옛날에 제가 유학할 때만 해도 이거를 막 마셨다고 이렇게 마셨는데 막 계란 계란 삶은 물 냄새 나고 그래요. 근데 지금은 마시지 말라고 돼. <웃음> no drinking, drinking water. 이렇게 써 있어요. 그래서 이거는 이제 그런 의미에서 이 도시에서 명물의 하나인데. This building, which was designed by Carl Friedrich Schinkel in the 19th century, minimizes exterior decorations and focuses on the space of the user. 식적인 것들, 외형적인 것들이 많이 절제되고 건축의 어떤 순수한 그 공간 타입에 더 초점을 맞춘 건축물입니다. 그래서 제가 요즘 건축에 많은 역사성을 바탕으로 현대의 건축을 비전에 대한 어떤 확신을 준 계기가 된 건축물이라고 볼수 있습니다. His office is located in downtown Cologne. He has a hectic work schedule because his current project is to refashion the Liner Palace, the seat of the state diet of Niedersachsen or Lower Saxony. How will he transform the Liner Palace? 과거의 신전이 몇배 되는 이런 아주 힘 있는 우직한 기둥으로 이루어졌다면은 이 경우는 어떤 그 아주 날렵하고 건강한 수직적인 요소들이 잡혀지되 그 요소는 이 고전적인 요소를 그대로 가지고 왔지만은 그것을 소화시키는 것이라든가 그 프로포션이라든가 재질감이라든가 이런 것은 우리 시대의 정서로 재해석을 하는 그런 과정을 거친 것이죠. This project not only incorporates elements of classical temples, but also architectural elements from the Stuttgart Municipal Library. Our soldiers' construction was always built on the foundation of our culture. We have been living in our daily life with such a beautiful construction that we have always lived. So, those things that I am doing in the construction, I don't know. 그런 것들이 저의 어떤 건축적인 상상력으로 항상 연결된 것이 아닌가 그런 생각이 듭니다. People here are impressed with his ability to reinterpret and refashion old buildings and his Korean sensibilities. Ich überrascht war über die Präzision, absoluten Anspruch, der an die Arbeit gestellt wird. Auf der anderen Seite ist die warmherzige Art, sag mal. die ich für einen, für einen Charakter der südkoreanischen Kultur äh, halte, ähm, äh, also der ist, ist erstaunlich. Also die menschliche Wärme äh, sag mal, bei der Härte der Arbeit ist äh, überraschend. He says he is on an architectural journey to create buildings that span cultures and generations. 제가 현대 건축가로서 지금 유럽 땅에서 활동을 하고 있지만은 가장 관심을 두고 있는 것은 동서양의 것을 합한다. 공유대를 찾는다 하지만 그 공유대 속에서는 그 각각의 문화권 속에서 가장 본질을 건드리고 있던 것들만 추려서 하나의 신트에서 합병제를 낼 때에 이 시대의 한 공명을 만들어 낼수 있을까 하는 그런 생각이 He is mixing Korean culture with western culture to create new landmarks. Korean architectural styles and technology are making a mark in different corners of the world. And as new styles are developed and incorporated, the story of Korean architecture will remain a work in progress. <laughs>